I just made a video saying I think my mom's found her equilibrium, right? I ask her, how was your day? Tired? I don't think you can see it. Right, I'll just read it to you. And she goes, okay, almost done. How are you? I thought, oh, okay, things are good. It's like, oh, I'm at Pioneer Park. Pleasant day, da 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 And then she says to me, don't bring your troubles home. Pretty menacing, eh? This from an alcoholic who does nothing but bring her troubles home. Right. Right, a complete... And the first thing it said, oh, she's completely psychotic. Okay, so she's still psychotic. Right, she's completely inverted the situation. She's not including herself, she's not including me. That We've left the world, the realm of reason. Just left the realm of reason. Like, she's just lost it. She's gone psychotic. That's a terrible shame. I'll just make a little video with my emotional response to that because literally this is just, I just read this just now. And I've got a little bit left on this camera. I'm just about to go home and uh, it's the only unpleasant part of my day. I had a wonderful day was getting that message. You know, willing to just totally bury the hatchet with my mom. It's just like, I have not had a dog in the fight. She's been upset with me. I've apologized a number of times. Uh, she just, uh, she's gone. I've lost her. Yeah. You know, she'll run herself ragged trying to count coup on me. Wow, you know, it's a, it's a shame. That's not my mother that wrote that message. That's not a woman. That's not a woman, no. That's not a mother. I'm tempted to say that's not a person who could have ever been a mother or respected a man. You know, I've been out here all day doing nothing but good medicine for my home. I bring wonderful things home. Right. In fact, I make a point of not talking a lot about just the less savory things I come across. So it uh, it hurts. Yeah, it hurts. This is what happens when you give a psychopath access to you. Right, that's that's not a, the mind of a woman. It's not a that's not a living mind. That's a dead mind. Right. And making sense of that is what I've spent a lot of my life doing. And I'm, in a sense, I'm glad that it's here. I'm glad that I live the way that I do. There's nothing to be done about it. You know, I'm not going to dignify that with a response. I'm going to come home, and I imagine I'm feeling exactly the way I'm supposed to feel. It's extremely hostile. Right? That's not even a home anymore. Right? That's uh, that's not that's not fair. It's not normal. It's not humane. It's not reasonable. Right? I have had no complaints during the last week or two of her at all. I've had no no bones to pick with her whatsoever. This is completely unprovoked, <laughs> just from drinking and c cavorting with demonic things and people. That's just her life. She's just scapegoating me. Just scapegoating. Is this trust just? Or is it just ice? It's icy, isn't it? Very icy. Oh, my heart will process it. I can feel it. It's like, there's only so much these things can do, you know. I, I, the heart has to be stout and smile a little bit, just like Tao. Smile, that's like half a smile almost. You just put a little thing there. It's like, oh, it's a smile. <laughs> it's like, it's the beginning. The big, big old smile, you know, the smile in my heart. I learned that from a Qigong person. Felicity taught me that. It's like, just smile in your heart. It's, uh, but I... I have to trust my natural reactions, and that's 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 psychopathic. That's that's a that's that my mother is no longer in her body. If she was, that's a that's a demonic being speaking to her, right? Right. And I may find when I come home that she'll she'll warm up a bit. She's still very icy by the time I come home, and 
everything's okay, you know. That's a, whatever's happening in my mom, that's not her. That's a numbness, that's an iciness coming through her mind, right? She's not in her mind right now. When I come home, we'll see if that softens a little bit, you know, because, you know, she beneath that, she's in a highly volatile, her mind's in a highly volatile state. She's been drinking too much, right? She, it's time of year when the liver is trying to cleanse. She's, she's basically going psychotic. And now it's, we'll just have to see, you know. It's like, it's like a lot of the people I meet today. It's not like my mom hits me or is going to stab me. Although women are more likely to hire people to kill people. Just an interesting thing. My mind, I should say my mind has probably provoked it. And it is taking her along and... I wonder if, you know, there's some way of just showing her what that message may sound like, but I just, it all depends when they get home. If I don't care, which is good, let it go. If there's some way to sort of talk to her, just to get her to open up a little bit, so you can talk like a, like a woman again. Talk like, you know, someone who cares about themselves. And if you don't care about the person you're talking to, why are you talking to them? You should just leave or call the police, you know. You know, or, you know, they're a psychopath, which I don't think I am. I've done a lot of prayer and ceremony today, and she's still very demonized. So it tells you something. And part of me just sort of thinks, like, well, this is like a de demon that has access to her. So she's on the edge of my heaven right now. She's about as far away as I need her to be. I don't come home. She might as well have just added, don't come home. You know. Bring what home? I, I have... I have no axe to grind with her. I was hoping to come home and say hello and enjoy our evening together like we normally do when she isn't psychotic. That's, that's what I was expecting to do. Uh, you can't change people. You gotta take responsibility for where you are. And what it is, quite often, is just see what whatever will be will be. The boat of the sun sits in the boat of the moon. My mom is not my ally. Or at least not all of her. Son. It's hard. You know, people say that divorce is like next to losing someone to death. And, uh. But you notice, you know, you can see through sociopaths when they talk about grief. You know, as a guy I got on the bus, guy I know, who basically said, hey, guess what? In case you haven't guessed yet, I'm a sociopath. You know, and that's what that's often how people talk to me. You know, and uh, it's uh, it's like losing someone to death. My mom's not alive right now; she's in another dimension. You know, and I want her to have joy, and I want to have joy, and uh, you know, I will continue to work with her. Um, I'm sure I would hope that she would be patient with me if I whatever difficulties I have, but I, it's too bad that she can't see what I'm having to deal with, essentially. It's something that I should never have to deal with. No one should have to deal with this. Like, no one. Um, it's disgusting. You know, it's a disgusting thing. It's not something you can do anything about. The whole thing about the demonic is, like, see what I can do and you can't do anything, and demoralizing you. You know, in this case, to your mothers, or your fathers, your roommate, your spouses. And then you're left with, well, what, what can I practically do to protect myself? And is this ever going to change? And am I just like losing life and I'm not getting anything in return? Well, I just said, I'm going to take a risk. I'll pay what cost I have. And uh, we'll take it day by day. I'll certainly report back on it. Thanks for listening.